again. <laughs> Welcome back. Today we're gonna be chatting a little bit about Miss Universe Canada 2022. I watched the pageant live. I shared a little bit of my live reaction on Instagram. So if you follow me there, you would have seen it there. Amelia too of Vancouver won the Miss Universe Canada crown. She will be representing Canada at Miss Universe. And she goes to which university? Uh, UFC Berkeley in California, University of California, Berkeley. Which is quite prestigious. Yeah, from what I know. I know it's like a really good golf school. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, like Max Homa, one of my favorite golfers on the PGA Tour, went to UC Berkeley. Okay, cool. So, yeah, they have a really good golf program. It's about the extent of my knowledge, but right. I think okay. that it's probably really nice. I'm just yeah. It's super nice. Yeah. But anyways, I believe Amelia has quite an extensive and amazing resume. I only know a little bit based on what was on the Miss Universe Canada website, so you can check it out there. I will say that me and a lot of pageant fans were shocked at the results, not because we don't think Amelia was a deserving winner or that she's going to be a great representative, but just based on how the whole pageant rolled out, how everything played out. And I always try to share I don't want people to think I'm bashing the winner, right? Like, which is what took me a while to make this video because I I was so full. I thought Yulia, if you guys watched the pageant, or Madison was gonna win, or maybe Sophie. That's what I said in my Instagram stories. I was convinced those three, based on their overall performance, everything I've seen from pageants, I thought one of those three women was gonna win. And Yulia was announced as third runner up, Sophie was second runner up, Madison was first runner up, and Amelia was the winner. Nothing wrong with it. I was just super shocked and I know I got so many messages from many of you saying like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Not Nothing against the winner, but like I'm so shocked. And I was like, I, I know, I totally yeah. agree. Miss Universe Canada never fails to surprise us. If you saw my stories, you also know this was the 20th year Beauties of Canada has held the Miss Universe Canada franchise. But the organization asked me to send a video. I sent them a video congratulating, like so exciting. They didn't include my video. <laughs> so what's really interesting about this is Natalie Glebova was in the video. She won Miss Universe 2005. Then Alice Pinikian uh, was top 10 at four Canada in Miss Universe 2006. Then for 10 years, nobody placed until me. I placed in the top <laughs> nine. Then Lauren Howe placed in the top 10. Then Marta Stepien also placed in the top 10. None of us were in that video. Yeah. And seems. since then, no one has placed either. So the three women <laughs> who have placed for Canada to say congratulations were not in the video. I don't know about Lauren yeah. and Marta. Like, you're not upset about it though. You're, you know, I'm it, not, doesn't, it doesn't bother you at all. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> I think I was just shocked because I sent the video. They asked me to send yeah. it. I sent it. And then I'm watching. And as soon as Natalie came on the screen, I was like, they didn't put my, they didn't include my video. Mm. Yeah. So I want, and I'll show the video because I don't, I want people to know I, it, it, I recorded it. It, it. it exists. It's real it's life. There. It's not just hearsay. <laughs> Happy 20 years to the Beauties of Canada organization. I wish I could be there in person to celebrate, but I cannot wait to see who the next woman will be to wear the Canada sash at Miss Universe. I feel like I gotta watch what I say because like your relationship with the organization, Miss Universe Canada organization, has been a little bit like rocky, I guess you could say. Yeah. Watching what I did watch, I didn't watch the full show. I watched like highlights and bits and pieces of it. It just seemed like weirdly like suspicious to oh, like really? just, I don't know. I mean, again, Amelia, like she's like she's gonna represent Canada well and and all that stuff, but like it just it seemed like like suspicious again to me, like mm -hmm. just how everything played out. And again, I, I don't know. I gotta watch what I say. I mean, I don't want to like step on any toes because you you're at risk of saying who won didn't deserve to win when you say it was like weird. And I think it's like mm -hmm. I, I don't mean it like that. It just seemed like when when she was standing there with Madison mm -hmm. and and she got crowned it just it's everything just like it seemed like weird to mm -hmm. me like i've watched a lot of crowning moments mm -hmm. and it was weird that they didn't like hug or like embrace like a little bit it was like i don't know did that seem weird to you at all like, i don't know it didn't seem that part didn't seem weird to no. me because i think some people are so shocked they don't they know what don't, to do okay. like i automatically hugged my first runner up because i was like shocked <laughs> and i like, leaned into her yeah. and i but i think as well in 2013 miss universe canada i don't think the two runners up or the runner up and winner well it ended up being not even like that 2013 because they right. crowned their own winner. But um, sometimes it happens. But I think as well, there's like different sides to this because I've been on like 
people said I didn't deserve to win Miss Universe Canada. Yeah. Like contestants, people said that I knew I was gonna win. Mm. I didn't freaking know I was gonna win. Like, yeah. hello, I would have told every person I knew to come watch the pageant if I knew I was gonna <laughs> win. Like, yeah, I'm gonna win, come watch me win. Yeah. But I think I've been also on the side where it's like, oh, she didn't deserve to win. And then Miss Universe Philippines just happened. And I thought the rightful winner won because I felt like her overall performance was the best. And people were like, she didn't deserve to win. This other girl deserved to win because her answer was the best. So I think maybe Amelia's interview was really amazing and we were just shocked because everyone else's overall performances we thought were strong. I don't even know. Yeah. I don't know, it I is, mean, but there's always yeah, question marks. Pageants and... are very subjective as it is, right? It's, yeah. it's not like a sporting event where if you score more points than their team, you're gonna win. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, it's it's open to your interpretation mm -hmm. and it gives a, a, a very large option, I guess, to like to, to shed your opinion on it. And yeah, people have biases too, obviously. I mean, if I'm your brother, I'm obviously be cheering for you. And if you don't win, I feel like you should have won kind of a right. situation like that. And that's maybe not the best example, but people definitely have their, their biases and, and opinions mm -hmm. that make them see things potentially through a different lens. Right, and we don't want to take away from Amelia winning by saying, oh, well, we thought this person was going to win because she, Amelia, ultimately won because that isn't fair either, right? Like you can say all day that this person or that person deserved to win, but certainly... Yeah, you're right. Everyone just has a different opinion. And... Yeah. Anyway, it's weird being in front of the camera again. <laughs> it's been a really long time. <laughs> I am doing other things these days, um, pursuing my golf dream. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. We're kind of golf course this summer, like an hour away from you, so we don't see each other as much as we used to, and um, that's why I wasn't part of the whole Miss Universe Philippines. Yeah, that um, was the most requested question, is yeah. where's Leighton? <laughs> where's so, your brother? I've been MIA. Um, did to do my, my own thing. It's been kind of a weird adjustment for us, I guess. We've spent a lot of time together over the past few years, so. You know, to be a part, it's tough. <laughs> so I apologize for taking a few days to do this video. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have like a, somehow it be taken negatively, my reaction mm -hmm. and everything, so. Yeah, just give it a few days to kind of process and not yeah. speak super emotionally on it. Yeah, well it's easy for me to speak emotionally about Miss Universe Canada as an organization because <laughs> if you've watched my channel, you know some of my videos, I talk openly about my experience right. and that it wasn't always beautiful and amazing and there's a lot that people don't know and sometimes I almost feel bad for being so honest mm -hmm. and so open but I think people deserve to hear that especially contestants. So here's the thing, I actually coached a couple of the girls in the past couple of years for this pageant, like two of the contestants who did well, I coached them, I helped them with their interviews and walks and everything like that. I will always be there to support the women. So sure, the organization didn't treat me the best and I had, you know, some challenges to say the least, but if a woman is going to be competing, I'm gonna help her out, you know? Like if, and I wanna be, if they are reaching out with their questions and concerns, I'm gonna be there. Where there are former title holders, who boycott the organization, they don't want anything to do with it, they don't want to watch it, they don't want to talk to women about it, they don't want to do anything. But I always want to make sure that I'm there for the women because I know what it's like to be there without anyone else to talk to because I had like no support no. <laughs> from anyone except friends and family who don't know as much about pageants as someone who would have been in it. I don't think you should ever apologize for telling the truth. True. I know, like some, the truth hurts. Um, <laughs> it can, for sure, and yeah. maybe that's why your video wasn't showcased. Maybe. Um, maybe they... But they asked me for it. Which, that's why yeah, I'm like, that, why would they even ask? Yeah. What's the, like, why? You why know, would they it's ask kind of frustrating. me? Yeah, I know. Well, especially when they showed me, like, if you watch the pageant, yeah. they don't, like, and it's no offense to past title holders who didn't place, but they only had three women in the last... I mean, since 2006. 2006, 2006. So 14, 15, 16 years now. Yeah. In the last 16 years, they only had three women to show them placing at Miss Universe, mm -hmm. being on the... Well, so they showed me, they yeah. showed me in swim, showed me like making the top um, 13 and like going up to Steve Harvey and like being all excited. So yeah. I just, I'm like, they knew I was the, like, <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's like, like they forgot about me. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I guess we could probably yeah. talk on and on about that, but anyway, can, congrats to Amelia. Yes, and to all the top five, and, all the yeah, women who competed. competed everyone who was even there, you know? Like if you didn't make the top 20, but you were there, congratulations, because it takes so much courage. I always want to make sure I highlight everyone yeah. as well. I forget to. It takes so much courage to even step into a pageant, to go to the welcome events and like wear your sash and like put yourself out there. Mm -hmm. It takes so much courage. And then to get on stage at the prelims, to do all the things. So 
Congratulations to everyone who competed, the top 20, the top 10, the top five, and of course the winner, Amelia Two of Vancouver. We're excited to watch her journey to Miss Universe. Exactly, yeah. You know, just because she won doesn't mean everybody else lost. It's, uh, it's an experience. <laughs> and you just, you can't take away those memories, so. That's true. <laughs> Even though I feel like whoever told me that being well, the first runner up was like the first, the first loser. loser. Yeah, if you're not first, you're last. Ricky anyway. Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> what we do, we focus so much like on the winner I know. all the time. It's like all about like winning and, and reaching the top and be and beating everybody else. But like I don't know, I think there's a lot more that that goes into it. But Yeah, well and sometimes the women who didn't even win Miss Universe go on to be really successful. Um, yeah, Obviously Gallagher, that's things. like one of the biggest ones. Yeah. She didn't yeah. even place at Miss Universe. Apparently yeah. she tried to not place at Miss Universe. What does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. She says. <laughs> yeah, I guess Troy says that. Anyway. <laughs> Moving on. All right. If you want to see our next videos, <laughs> probably to see your next video. Make sure, yeah, maybe I'll be here. Um, make sure you hit subscribe. Um, I'm always, always, always posting on Instagram and TikTok. People always ask, like, where's Lily? I want to see Lily. Yeah. She's mostly on Instagram and TikTok. She has some really funny. She's so funny. She's really funny. So yeah. if you want to see my Instagram stories of her, for sure is like the number one. Um, follow me on Instagram, and you'll see us there.